custom solutions are an increasing part of our business uh, in certain circumstances a standard off the shelf solution uh, is not sufficient for the core application and this is one such system. Uh, this particular customer uh, produces or manufactures animal tags so effectively it's an identification tag for animals such as cattle, sheep, these types of things. Uh, they have a number of different shapes uh, and sizes of tags and the function that they required was to be able to engrave all of them uh, on the same machine without changing any fixtures. This system is designed in a way where if the customer would, uh, would require to add another product at a later date, um, we can manufacture another jig and it will simply lift on and off where the position of this jig is right now. This system is an indexing table, so what the function will be that the, uh, the tag will mark, index, mark, index, turning 360 degrees, the operator will stand at the front, loading the parts to the front of the plate. Um, we've designed this system with a small ejection device, so that objects that are loaded to the plate are easier and faster for the operator to collect. The system incorporates uh, a Siemens PLC and in this particular case we've used a Siemens HMI. Um, we programmed the HMI to load the product. So while we are using our standard software to drive the system, uh, when the operator selects the product, um, they will actually select it from the HMI. So to the HMI we've, we've loaded uh, these particular three products. And what that does is it tells the system, if you select a product from the HMI, it tells the system uh, to sense the specific product. So in this system are a, a multitude of sensors. If the product was, for example, misplaced or missing from the jig, the sensors will realise that and the process will, will, will pause. In this particular case, the customer owns uh, a number of systems already and the work environment is designed for class 4 lasers. So the customer already has a number of class 4 lasers within the workshop. Uh, this system, therefore, uh, we didn't need to make it as a class 1 or class 2 system. It is actually class 4. Um, two levels of safety, really. You have the standard, which means that the safety design, the design of the safety mechanisms and systems must meet the standard so that you can have class 1, class 2 or class 4. Um, and then there is another level of safety which is um, a, a practical level of safety. So even if this system is a class 4 laser, if it's totally open, in practical terms, then there is a higher risk to the health and safety of the operator. Uh, whereas if we have uh, this screen that is partially down, there is a reduced risk. It's still class 4, but the risk is reduced. For access, we've actually made this uh, to be a pneumatic, uh, a pneumatic access pad. The system is designed with uh, two modes of operation. Uh, the first mode is, 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 is a one-by-one -one manual operation. The user would normally uh, operate the system in that way during a setup process or during a quality control process. It works by uh, two-button activation for safety. Uh, the operator will press both buttons the table will index once. Uh, <clears throat> in the other operation, the other mode of operation is fully automatic. So you can switch the system to automatic and that way around the, the, the table will index itself. On startup, uh, the system will initialize uh, by user action. In this particular case, it's a button on the HMI. The table will index, uh, it will find its zero position. It's a, a beautiful indexing device. This particular device, we've used it a number of times. It's actually capable of carrying a weight of up to 150 kilograms, uh, and its positional accuracy is extremely good. Now the system is uh, it's indexed, it's initialized. Uh, the pneumatics have engaged. The pneumatics that will unload the products have, have engaged, and the system is now ready for use. The HMI is designed with an engineer level, uh, mode or function. Uh, for example, one of the functions is to raise the, the, uh, the access panel. The access panel is pneumatic as are all of our systems. 
you would raise the access panel, for example, to change a jig or to uh, maybe uh, clean the system or re remove a tag if, for example, it, it were to move from the fixture. Um, raising the panel is via the HMI. Here you can see the sensor array. The sensors are a number of sensors. The sensors will pick up on whichever product is loaded to the jig. Um, there's a small a red LED or red, light, red diode uh, to show you where the sensor is located to.